Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now, in the last episode, I began working on the Artista tier of residence in the New World in our continued efforts to supply everything to everyone all at once. But I got a bit distracted sorting out the mail for our capital island here of swords while I was kind of waiting on certain goods to come together. The good news is that it was time well spent, as our capital now has all of its goods pretty much permanently. You know, every now and then a trade route might get disrupted, but other than that, Top to bottom, all the production chains involved with everything for investors, engineers, artisans, scholars, and tourists is all done now, even their mail. So today we can truly move our focus back to the Artistas and perhaps even as well something like the Elders in Mbesa. So let's begin. All right, so just to take a little quick look at this as well, just, you know, we can have a little look at these houses. The happiness category, totally good. 607 intense panorama on this particular residence here. Got everything they need, lifestyle sorted, looks good, feels good, smelling good. All right, so island population stable. That's what I like to see. Now, like I said, we might get a little bit of fluctuation every now and then, still feeling out some of the trade routes and noticing every now and then that there's something missing, something delayed, things like that. So what I've been doing in between episodes, actually, is I've been sailing out to Archibald Blake and also Eli Bleakworth and equipping our ships with just like every exporter of goods I can find, and lots of propellers. Also, if I can ever find the higher tier propeller, I'll also be buying that. So effectively, I just have ships waiting out here I had, and I was just rotating around constantly, just buying up propellers, and then at Eli Bleakworth, we're just getting those exporter of goods as well. So you'll notice my money is actually... Hey, did we just gain another influence level? No, I think it just uh, highlighted it. Uh, yeah, you'll notice that my money, we're several, like about 30 million less than we had in the previous episode. And that's because I've just been constantly rolling and spending tons of money getting those items. But I'm happy I have been doing it because it meant that our ships are a little bit more efficient. And we've cleared up some of that traffic that was happening over at Manola, especially. We were kind of all backed up here. The docks are busy, but we have free, free piers, no problems. And things are moving. Traffic is flowing. If you're watching my City Skylines episode, you know that's the most important thing. If you hop back to Lusk, just really quickly, again, we don't have this big ring of uh, ships waiting anymore because a lot of them have now been equipped with the loader or the exporter of goods item, which is going to improve loading speed, I think 20, I think 40% actually, if you just, let's just get it right. Yeah, 45, there you go, 45% loading speed, it's massive, it's really, really good. And then of course the propeller and things lowers, uh, speeds up the ships, generally speaking, and, and removes cargo slowdown slightly, so the... The rare tier here is 10% improved movement speed, negative 25% cargo slowdown, and then if we could just find that ship, there we go. The ultimate tier for this, the controllable pitch propeller, a little bit more rare to find. It's the epic category, 15% with a negative slowdown of 50%, so it's pretty good. Uh, so I've been equipping some of the ships that have been going between sessions with those things, and uh, just I basically just watched ships pulling in here and just started equipping them with all the as many propellers and exporter of goods as I could find. There's still tons of ships that don't have anything on them. Uh, no doubt. So we can always optimize and improve a little bit as time goes on. Anyway, so let's have a little focus on what we'll be doing today. So artisans, yeah? Artisans. So our artisans actually have a lot of what they need as well. You know, access to a beach, perfumes, fans, scooters. These are some of the highest end goods that we had to ship back to the old world anyway. So we've already done the legwork, provided more than we need, and therefore they reap the, the benefits of that already. In the lifestyle category, we're still short on lanterns. Um, I think if just to catch up on the previous episode, I was waiting on billiard tables. If you remember, I had an issue with my felt route. A couple people had different suggestions about it. I've gone with a, another That's weird that. thing with it. I'll show it if in a minute if people are curious. But felt is now being exported to the old world, and then billiard tables are beginning to come back, although it's going to be spotty for a little while. Uh, same with souvenirs. There was a little interruption with the trade route, but it should be back online pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, so lanterns would really be the one to, to fix. Uh, regional mail, I haven't actually set up mail and stuff like that in the New World, really, but they're kind of getting it from a, an old trade route that I'd set up a long time ago. <clears throat> Alright, excuse me. So, lanterns are going to be the focus. I think all of these things are really sorted. We're just waiting on the trade to catch up. But lanterns and beer, I believe. Yes, those will be the two that we'll have to fix up. Um, beer might be easier, so we could do that first. Let's have a quick look. If we go consumer goods, beer... 31 tons is produced, although some of it has stalled indefinitely right now, and that's on Malahide. At least one of them is on Malahide. So Crown Farms is the main producer, and then Malahide seems to be the other. I don't know why it's... 
separated by where it's coming from, but for some reason it was. It might be... No, they're all in breweries, actually. All right, so your brewery is out of malt. And is there another one on this island? Because you said you're getting it from somewhere else. There is a second one on the island. It's in the town itself, and this one is Stand to attention for the bus. has got enough malt, I guess. Barely. Anyway, so these are these two, I suppose, are cut off, generally speaking, from the overall trade network. That's not that bad. Mission foul up. Oh, I must have took, taken on a mission and not done it by accident. That Don't tell anyone about that. Attention. All right, so you have run out of gubbins being malt specifically. So I'm just wondering, do we move beer from this island? We actually don't. Um, we're bringing in beer on the Scurvy Dog 2. Do you have any items on your ship? You do not. Are you in a session right now? You are. Uh, let's see if we can give you an item just to speed you up. An exporter of goods would be nice to have. Speed up that loading and unloading process. Generally speaking, its speed is going to be fine as it moves between sessions. I think... Um, these ships get 200% speed movement between sessions, so really, really fast. So I, I like using them. I know it's maybe not the most optimal if you get items and other things, but I don't know. Something kind of fun about using a ship for its design purpose. Um, so let's grab... I think I'd like her to be there. So it's not going to get any speed improvement, but it would get 45% loading speed. Although the loading and unloading isn't really an issue, I would say. Maybe let's give them the controllable pitch propeller instead. Uh, now, in order to do that, uh, rather annoyingly, I'll have to sail up to here. Maybe I'll just transfer these items in here, and we can transfer a lot of them over to, what's it called, uh, Crown Farms. I don't have an airport in Lusk, so we can't transfer it automatically, an item transfer airport thing. So we'll just have to wait for it to do that, and then I'll resume the route. But anyway, so the long story short is that there is no beer route coming from Malahide to here. So that means we're short. We're a little bit short, unless we improve it in Crown Farms ourselves, because it is pretty close, ultimately. Don't know why I typed Crown. Beer. Yeah, it's 31 over 30. So it's like, oh, okay, with Malahide, you're basically making a little bit extra. And in Crown Farms itself, again, these places are short on malt. Not going to be putting any extra down. What have you got in here? Providing extra rum for me and ethanol. Yeah, that was important, I remember. You do have room at the back here if I wanted more. And workers aren't really a problem. Thinking about it, so maybe we should just slam a few extras in. Why not? The train line is kind of in the way, so we'd have to move a bunch of things back. But I don't necessarily see an issue with that. If we have the trade union space and we're within it, we could turn them sideways, actually, thinking about it as well. Eh, wouldn't really be able to fit them then. Okay, so... Let's come into this. I'm going to move these guys up thanks to the move tool. We can do this relatively painlessly. Let's just move them on up. Now, this might be moving out of electricity range, actually, thinking about it. Yeah. You got me. Hmm. These are offline. Well, let's see. How much are we trying to make souvenirs? 32 over 30. All right, that's our target, 32. So let's just try to keep that in mind. And then maybe we'll have to lose some power, but power them on in a different way. Do they require power? Actually, they might, because they are chemical plants. Thinking about it. All right, this is going to be a risky maneuver. The train is literally here right now. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's like re-hooked back up. Get rid of the grass. We have roads that go out this way, so that's not really an issue. And this is where the line begins. So one, two, let's just throw a bunch in. We don't have to have them all turned on, but just good to know where they can fit. Okay. All right, so let's get rid of the wall. <coughs> and bring this across. Okay, so that's power delivered all out this way. Do you need a warehouse maybe here? Would it fit in? It would, if we just um, move this road. Oh, no, it wouldn't, actually. Not really. Yeah, I'll just leave it. We can put other things in there. 
Okay, we'll leave it like that, and I'm sure they'll find a warehouse to go to. If not, we can always upgrade these if they get too busy. In fact, I think we should probably do that. Seems like they would get busy. All right, so they're all surrounded by that now, looking good. Let's just turn them around to face the same way. The factory grows. This really did stop becoming a, um, a city builder a long time ago, didn't it? It's just straight up a factory building game now. Alright, let's get rid of this, this, and this. We can move this back down now to hopefully get some of that electricity that we might be missing out on. So let's just bring him right back down. Alright, let's check the damage. So we could also make a gap through here. Bring this straight up. And there we go. So we're actually powering the exact same we were before. So no changes necessary. We just basically cleared a wall, cleared some of the ornaments here, and then added in some extra beer. So that's going to be more than enough to supply the entire world and have some extra. We just need to make sure that we can actually supply what it needs. So it wants hops and malt. Now, if I recall correctly, we have tons of malt over here, and they are just short on grain. And we've obviously lots of room for further grain, should we wish. So let's uh, get cracking on that. So let's see. Malt first will be important to check. Intermediate. The cons consumption is 72. We're producing 48. So at this point where you start weighing up like, ooh, is it worth having all this malt or should we go with the old Docklands? Oh yeah, I meant to say I added in way more piers here as well. So it's a much more straight, even line now. And it didn't have it before, but I totally forgot that you can add the loading wharfs, which vastly increase loading times as well. So the loading speed of these things is like 25 tons per second. Uh, which is really, really good. Obviously, the regular ones, to compare it to something like the New World, I think is like 2.7. And the ones we've upgraded are like 5 seconds. You know, so it's, you know, five times. Each one of these is 5 times better than those. So it really is, like, super, super good. Very high volume stuff. Uh, let's just check, actually, the Docklands here to see what it's kind of doing. Not, not much. <laughs> not much at all. So we're taking in Tallow, believe it or not. Tallow, Okay. And sand. Now sand, I remember we made a whole island dedicated to producing lots of sand out this way. But I guess we needed even more. Don't quite remember that, but I'll leave it as is until we feel the need to change it. Um, so. Malt. And then to have all that extra malt, then we need more grain. Now maybe if you're going to have this many, I think it would make sense to use a trade union, right? Something must be able to improve malt production. Let's just test it out. Let's just build something like this out here. Are you guys getting power, actually? You're not. That's kind of wasteful. So this has a power line running all the way straight up. And it ends just about there. So let's bring this across. All right, so that's power. Power is going to come in that far. So it's n <laughs> to repeat myself, it's not that far overall. But it might be what we need. So that kind of powers that area there. Alright, let's check this out. So, we've got power to all of these ones and these ones here. Hmm. It could be time to add in just another power plant. And I think with the double line and everything, it'll still be sorted out fine. It might be time to do that somewhere up here and just feed one across. It's getting pretty busy for uh, for the railway, sorry. Obviously, we do have lots of uh, room out here. There's this one there. Yeah, maybe it would make more sense to use one that's already in place. Yeah, there's actually two down here that, you know, there's obviously lots of room around this on either side that we're not making use of yet, so let's try to make use of it. Um, so let's just bring this down. Keep this sort of reserved for the storage bays, I guess. All right. Again, all this is subject to moving around a little bit, but we just want to get the production rates correct. And then we can move from there. Okay, so that's a lot more now, but they're all powered this time. So it's like doubling up the amount that we had. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 24 is really what we're getting the, the rates of. I'll have to wait until they get their goods delivered, I think. 
Maybe not. Let's just check. Malt. Oh, look at that. 72 for 72. It's almost like... It was powered once before, and it lost power or something. That could be the case. So we'll throw in maybe one or two more, just to overdo it a bit. Excuse me, a bit. <clears throat> like so. And then that's obviously going to have great consumption of grain. Huge consumption of grain. So we produce 87 tons per minute. We need 134, so we're short about 50. That's a lot. 50 tons per minute. Now, these guys are, from what I recall, getting their tractors and their silos full. They have their fertilizer. Well, let's just pile some more on. I mean, that's what this space is for. That was the idea of Crown Farms, after all. So just cut some of this, these ornaments away. It would be nice to separate the fields every now and then, I guess, but... Maybe based on what they are, not necessarily when they're together like that. All right, let's just get a little crazy and grab these two. Oh, I'm in the way of the ornaments. No. Get rid of that one. Okay. So, the fuel depot thing is here. I think it can easily reach these. I think it's got enough as well, because there's another one down here, which is feeding all of these guys. Just thought about it. Do these not have... Oh, there's another one there. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, I haven't counted them up, but I assume they're okay. Someone actually mentioned... I think if you search fuel, you can see... But that will only tell me what the building is doing, not if the building is... Oh, yeah, actually, the consumption line. No, you're right. You're probably right, yeah. So that's how you know if you're feeding too many or not, instead of having to count them directly. Space is still a factor, though, I guess, but other than that... Wow, look at this. A literal train of trains. One, two, three, four in total. 63, 1, 318, and 335. Such odd amounts, but can't blame it. I am building in real time, and it's trying to probably figure things out. Okay, so, you guys all need your storage. And then we're going to have to get our, what do we need? Steam motors, of course. Now, steam motors, unfortunately, I guess I don't have any on this island. We're going to have to go back to the old world. We'll pack up this ship. I just made a new Great Eastern. Load this bad boy with steam motors and bring it over. In fact, I could just slow it here, maybe. If we could put on some propellers or something onto it, it'd be good. I feel like I said I was going to put that on something, but I'm actually forgetting now. So, apologies if I said I was going to go on something. It's going to go on this now. Now we'll put the um, exporter lady on. Alright, and room for one more at some point in the future. We won't do it right now, it's fine. So, let's just send it down here. We'll grab the steam motors, and then we'll send it over. Cargo stations. Um, the other thing I think that island is often lacking, really I should just set up a route for it, I suppose, but is um, steel. Yeah, it's on 91 steel. So let's just bring over a bunch of both. Cargo boat at the ready. So, construction materials, we're going to need maybe that amount and that. Alright, off you go. Alright, we'll see him soon. Okay, is that going to be enough? I wonder. I don't know, and I still haven't done the big rearrangement I've been meaning to do, which is moving this out further. Because I, I did say that it would be nice that if all of these fields were just in there. Also, I just slammed these down without even checking. How are they doing? So that's 216 out of 216. 216, 216, all good. These ones are obviously fine because I put them down before, but this one is not. So this is where it's going to get a little messy. So I'm just going to cut away the backs of these. Just like that. And then we'll just fill these out. All right. So this one go up to 216 as well. Wow, it's actually pretty low, so it'll have to creep quite far along. 
All right, 157 out of 144. But obviously we know it can go to 216, so we have to bring it to that number. So it's 208. There we go. Getting tied for space now. 163. All right, 216 there as well. This one's gonna take a lot. All right, just two more, is it? This one's still 157. Okay, 216, and the last one. Can hopefully fill this entire gap. Yeah, pretty much. All right, and then we just drag it all the way down. So that's 216, and we'll just say, just fill it up. Nice. Now, it'll be my job to go through all of these modules individually and uh, remove all those little haystacks. I want, I want clean fields, please. Usually looks best when you see the tractors rolling over them then. I think I did do it up here. Oh, yeah. Clean fields. Looks good. <laughs> All right, I have no idea why this is still here, but it is, I guess. There you go. At least you've power now. Be happier. Just an e easy 300,000 move on that one. All right, I'm gonna be waiting a while for the ship to get here. I guess we'll just speed up time. I wonder how far it is now. Great Eastern. It doesn't actually travel any faster in between sessions. Oh yeah, I've got a weird bug actually. I should have probably reloaded the game, but nothing is um, appearing for me when I hover over it. Don't know why. No tooltip is appearing. I tried to reset things by hovering over different tooltips, but I think I just need to reload. And if I click these areas... Also, the I didn't make a cut in the video there, by the way. It just looked like a cut. Um, if I click these, it doesn't do anything. So I have to just go back to where I came from. I can't switch. I have to just switch with the hotkeys. Which is an interesting little bug I've had. I've never seen that one before. Uh, okay, so let's just keep up with malt again. Let's just see how we're doing now. So that's 80, so grain is going to have to be 104. So 134 is our consumption, and we're just waiting on these other things to come online. Are the silos not built as well? Oh, these are just both tractor bonds. Yeah, okay, see. That should be enough then, I think. I'm confident. All right, our Great Eastern is just coming in now, turning the corner. So cool, you can see the airship in the distance as well. That airship is so slow as well. I'm on triple speed, by the way. I want to see if I get to intercept this and pick up the steam motors quicker, but this airship is like the slowest one. So there's really no point. We'll just wait till it gets there. Even with its negative 50% slowdown, I'm increased the movement speed. It's doing 14, potentially 14 knots right now. All right, let's get him in there, and we'll send you back. All right, so let's build these up. All right, so we've already sorted out the module space. That's what we were doing that for, so that's in place. It's gonna be a heavy demand of fertilizer. I wonder, is that gonna change anything for me? Ooh, yeah, it's 21 to 21 now. It's very even. Not everything's producing all the time. So that's something I'll have to probably keep an eye on, look into and try to improve. So I think it actually Oh, no, it's still going, but yeah. I was going to say, I think it sometimes hits its cap, but that might be the max we can do for a little while. Now, of course, you could always bring grain in through Docklands, you know. that I would advise that. Anything that's going to be in such high volume and takes up so much space, it would really make sense to just bring it in through Docklands. But the idea was to turn this place into a giant farm, so that's what we're doing. And factory, I guess. It's a surprise inspection. Now, I didn't check Pops. Uh, so how are we doing with that? Hops are going to be a little low. Just a little bit. 33 for 42. 42 is the consumption rate. Hops is something I wouldn't mind bringing in through Docklands at some point. But if we can afford it, let's just try keep slamming these down. Alright, good luck with that. More steam uh, motors, more fuel is needed, and also more fertilizer. 
So we'll see how we get on. Oh, it's nice to see her, actually. We're building up Arctic gas pretty pretty nicely. It's normally, like, right on the edge, you know, very low all the time, but it seems like it's actually stockpiling, so that's good. Keeping our power alive. Haven't looked in this place in a, in a long time. Be nice to switch these to be, like, the nightlife casino variants. That'd be kind of cool. The neon lights is the, the correct term, I think. Cool. Everything seems to be running totally fine here. It's How are you doing for mail, actually? Yeah, so they don't have quite everything. I sorted out swords for the trade routes first. Once swords kind of hits its max amounts, then I can kind of add these ones on. Um, but yeah, they actually don't get any overseas. They get regional mail going back and forth to the old world. To get overseas, they'd have to get something from Manola, most likely. Um, I'm tempted to send them, like, this population's mail up to the Arctic to get overseas and then bring that back to see if they could maybe share that. That could be something that would help. Holy crap, that moose is huge. Alright, good. Alright, let's check on green. Oh wow, still technically technically not enough. Is that does everyone have their fuel? One of them doesn't yet. It's a lot of farmland. <laughs> but anyway, we're overproducing a little bit anyway, so maybe that'll be okay. Let's just begin to set up our route. So our export for beer is on the go. We just need to hit play on that. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I remember now. Oh, yeah. No, we can still do it. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. So up here, we left a ship. We can drop that in. Drop a few of these in, actually. Why not? And we'll just ship them over via the airport. Oh my god, there's 12 controllable pitch propellers here? Wow, I did not know that. Well, that's good. Those ships that need it the most, then we can send them over. Oh my god, and there's 40 exporter of goods? So I did queue up, like, uh, as many of these in the Research Institute as I could, so they must have just been uh, grabbed in the background. So that's awesome. Wow, I did not know we had so many. Yeah, just send over, I don't know, quite a few of them. 10. All right, cool. And then we'll just equip it on this ship, that propeller. Once it comes in. All right, here we go. I guess you should almost probably just leave them there and then pull from them where you end up needing them. So let's go like this, go like this, get our ship lady. Bonk. There we go. All right, off you go. So movement speed 15%, cargo slow down negative 50. Should help a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so beer is on the move. It's heading back. So beer is going to go back to Lusk. Then we need a new trade route that's going to send it to the new world. There's no route that does that currently. If we type exclamation mark, we are importing billiard tables to the new world as part of a lifestyle thing. This is technically part of happiness, but I wouldn't mind doing that the same. So let's see what the consumption rate of beer in the new world is. Now this will be beer for all the new world islands, right? So it's 30 in total everywhere. We're, we're way going over the amount we need, actually, so I could really turn some of them off. In fact, I think we're going to do that. Do we get extra items here? Actually, we do produce more rum and ethanol if these are running. So maybe we can throw it overboard or sell it or something in the future. Um, okay, so we'll leave them there, I guess. Even though we don't make enough base materials just yet for it. Uh, beer in the New World. That's what I was looking at. All right, so these are all the islands. So 18 tons per minute is the consumption rate. 18 tons per minute. It takes about 12 minutes. It takes about 8 minutes, really, to get out there. Mm. Yeah, I reckon... Well, to be safe, I'd say put it on four slots. I was going to say three, but four would probably be just safe. As the go-between should be quick enough. I'll leave that a question mark still there, and we'll call it lifestyle. It's fine. I understand what it means. All right, so good luck with that. 
and you've actually just arrived in the new world, so on its next trip back. In fact, being here is good. We'll put on another propeller thing. Let's get that... Yeah, yeah, actually, let's just go with the standard propeller. I don't need the high-tier one. Hold on. All right, off you go. All right, nine tons of billiard tables have been delivered. And now you're going to go off, fetch beer, and bring it back. Now, when you do that, that's all well and good. Beer is going to be for the artistas, but I think it's also for the obreros, right? Yeah. What we always it is just the happiness to. category, but it does mean that we'll have to then send this to multiple islands. So we need a beer route. So here, I think there, there, and there all have potential beer consumers. I just manifold style fill them all up. It'll take a while, but it'll eventually get to everybody. And do we have any idle ships in the new worlds? Yeah. All right, delivery beer. So just to make sure uh, that these guys are consuming, we they have... Ah, there. so they're actually not. Do the these guys consume any? No. So it doesn't have to come to Guadalmina. We can cut that off. That that's okay, I think so. So yeah, this island definitely has obreros. So does this island. This one does not. It's just Yonaleros. This is Yonaleros and obreros, but they don't consume beer because there's not enough of them yet. All right, that's fine by me. Uh, we need to set a reserve amount in here then as well, I would say, just so we don't take any from these guys. So we'll set a nice, healthy reserve of 300 tons. And that way, if we run a stadium event or something, I think they sometimes consume beer. So they should have what they need. All right, that uh, actually took way longer than I thought, but that's beer, right? That should be beer sorted. We definitely make enough. I don't necessarily provide all the base ingredients just yet, although we probably provide 90%, and we are oversupplying by more than that, so that's okay. I don't mind it um, going on and off a little bit can tailor it later on. Is there anything else to do? I don't think so. I think that's that's got to be it. Oh, actually, in the old world, beer needs to travel around, doesn't it? So delivery of beer and balls. It's just 50 tons. That's all we're bringing in. So that goes to artisans and stuff, doesn't it? Sweet music. Yeah, yeah. So they, they're the ones that want beer. He said sweet music, but there actually... Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, there actually is no music. Um, Such a lovely city. So, artisans. Let's just see if these guys have it. So, I've got another island with artisans. Sorry about that. Little alarm clock went off. Ah, beer for these guys. They actually have their own. Yes, okay, right, I remember. So, we locally produced it for them, so they're okay. The workers need beer, but there's not enough of them, so that's totally fine as well. So, it really is just this island as well. So, the workers and the artisans need their beer. Okay, so beer and balls is getting delivered up to just this island. And there's nothing else in the old world. So, what we'll do is we'll stack this with maybe one or two more. And we will save the rest to go to there. Whoops, don't do that. Okay, unload, unload, and then make your way back. We can be the most fabulous friends. Just second guessing a few things, but I think it's going to be okay. So basically, yep, beer initially arrives to there with the soccer balls, and then just a little spillover comes here, and then they go back. It's pretty close, so it should be okay. Not adding too much time to the route. The only thing I was kind of second guessing, I suppose, and actually I am still worried about it, is adding that extra time. Long route. Adding that extra time means that 50 might not be enough anymore. I think it will, would be, but just in case, um, I would say maybe unload 25 here as well. Just that little extra, because the route is going to take just a little bit longer. Okay. All right. I think that's beer. So, 
What's next? It was lanterns, wasn't it? So it's that's a bit of a messy one. Oh yeah, by the way, people have been pointing this out for ages. Finally. <laughs> Don't know why I hadn't done that, but for some reason I hadn't noticed it. Okay, so right, they're going to get their beer. They have everything else. They've got all of this. The lifestyle needs then is just souvenirs and lanterns. Like I said, souvenirs should be okay. It's just going to be interrupted for a while. But if we have a look at it like this, we do produce 32 tons per minute. And let's check its production because it actually looks like it might not be totally stable. Oh yeah, it's not. It goes down. Maybe we're short on some. I mean, clearly we are short on something. Camphor wax, glass, and cotton. Hmm. Is it cotton then? I don't know. I've never really used this before. I don't know if that's what we produce in cotton or what we consume. I assume it's production, but... None of these dropped too low. Although they are going up and down, especially glass. Oh yeah, and they're not working right now. Well, now we can find out. So let's see. What are you missing? You're full. Oh, okay. That's an amazing problem to have. Well, if you're full, then maybe we just need another ship on the job. Maybe someone isn't pulling his weight. This guy right here. The Orpheus 2. Unfortunately, I can't check where it is because I have that bug right now. But, um... Maybe we'll just stick another one on it then. So let's go out to the old world real quick. We'll pick a ship, make sure it has its stuff on it, and then send it. All right, this is everything. Cargo stations. All right, the mild shrimp is the ship that we need to put on it then. There we go. Because apparently doing this, this has been running for a while. It just clearly is not enough. The way it's been moved around. And if that place is full and production is stopping, we're not unloading fast enough from there. We're not taking it away fast enough. So let's go. Two ships on the job now. So one of them, yeah, that's the one we just made. And then this is the one that's currently on the job. So one is in the session and one is leaving the session. It's actually pretty good. Although eventually they do seem to democratize and end up being close to each other. I don't know why that always happens, but it seems to. All right, not too concerned about that. Um, so that's the souvenirs. Anyway, yeah, lantern. So let's hop on down to Umbesa. It's been a while. But here we are. Oh yeah, I didn't actually get those items to do with malt production. But that's okay. <laughs> no, I can't simply make do with what I have. Can't you simply make do with what you have? Show them how, you? So you got your glass, you just don't have any beeswax. You don't have any ornate candles. So we've one candle maker here. Chandler, you don't have any beeswax. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -ba -da. Well, we need to work our way backwards. So first of all, we got to check globally lanterns. And do we make enough globally? Bonk. No. We need to be making six tons per minute. We currently make two. It looks like... Wow. Even with two buildings. Yikes. That's going to be rough. Excuse me. Hmm. I'm just looking to see... Was there anything already affecting this? We, it sound, if you're going to have to have six of those buildings, it seems like we're going to need something to help here. All right. Georgi, the eminent hymnodist. hymnodist. So it pr provides illuminated scripts and lanterns. So extra scripts. It only affects the luminar. 50% productivity. Every five cycles, you get another script. And every 10 cycles, you get a lantern. It's not that much. Depends, though. If we have a lot of those luminaries, then maybe. I don't think we do. We've got three. <laughs> so, yeah. Not really worth it, I would say. There are two close together. Where's the third one? Oh, yeah. I built it in the town to make it look nice. Of course. And we've got productivity boosts here. Hmm. Workforce needed. Negative 50%. Productivity 35. Affects what kitchens? Because I'm thinking we could get rid of the workforce one. We can afford this workforce, although that was a 
pretty detrimental fall, actually, thinking about it. And then we can stick something like that item in, and then we're generating extra scripts, but only when these two cycle, and their time is 40. Yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. If it's only 44, so it's every 22 seconds, is it, that we'd get one every 10 cycles. So every 22 seconds, we get one, and then every 200, so it's every 220 seconds we get an extra thing. It just doesn't seem right. It's not nearly enough, right? Several minutes go by before you get another one, so... I'd say leave this area the way it is, personally speaking. Uh, maybe we can have a look at uh, any items that affect the Lantern Smith itself, rather than just providing lanterns back. That was just one quick thing that I wanted to check. So Lantern Smith. And let's see if there's anything here. So this, the cutting edge, affects a Lantern Smith specifically, and it reduces workforce 50%. That's pretty good, the cutting edge. Yeah, I'm into that. We've got one in the trading posts and swords. That's good. Uh, just really quickly. May we repay this kindness. Oh, uh, you don't have to worry about that. It's gonna send an airship down there. It's a really quick one, so it'll be able to get back and forth quite quickly while we look over some other things. So, Lantern Smith. All right. So the first thing we saw was the cutting edge. Seems good. We have one in swords. So it's productivity 40%, workforce negative 50. Anything else that affects the building specifically? I just like to actually do that if I can. Uh, we have Oriel's automatic blowing machine. 40% productivity and a reduction in fire chance. We're using it twice already, but we do not have a spare currently. But that would be nice. It affects Lantern Smith. Maybe we could leave it at that. Two items would be pretty good. This affects other things too. Although not in Embesa, just the one thing in Embesa. All right, let's um, let's go with that as well. We'll research it in the institute, and see if Some we can very use it. promising ideas floating around today. We better brainstorm it then. All right, nine minutes to go. Uh, okay, so we'll head back to the old worlds. We'll find our airship, which should be here soon. We'll just pick up that item and then send it, and then we'll have a look at how many of those buildings we're going to need. So we're reducing workforce and increasing productivity. I still think we'll need about four, which I don't know if it's enough to warrant having a trade union, but maybe. It certainly seems to be sucking up a lot of elders. But we haven't provided the lifestyle to elders yet, so we could end up having a lot more than we need anyway. So maybe we don't have to pinch it that hard, but we'll just wait until this... Airship comes into contact here. Should be here any minute. Uh, I don't see it traveling, so it must be in the map. It'll be here any second, I'm sure. There it is. Yep, it's here. Alright, cool. So, items. Trade Union. Uh, we can actually search. You affected too. All workforce reduced 20%. Sure, let's bring both of you right now. We can always swap her out later. And base a... Dabarine. So we'll make this journey. We'll fly straight back and pick this up when it's done. It won't take too long. Especially on that ship. It's very fast. In the meantime... Wrong place. In the meantime, we can actually have a look at building out these things. So, we've got two down here already. We're going to need at least... Four, I would say. We might need some clear space for this, although we're kind of out of space now, thinking about it. Maybe we've got a bit down down there. Don't have any in the island itself, and all of this area is taken up by farmland. I'd really hate to redo that area. A lot of trees and stuff oh, down here. I didn't mm. expect you there. That's kind of wasteful for space, for sure. And what does this do? This affects the paper mills. Oh, yeah. You could move that over, right? There's no need to have it where it is. I guess I was trying to stay away from the fertile ground. Can we fit another one in here? No. Alright, let's try it out here then. Again, I haven't really thought about it though. I mean, maybe this would be good enough. This is using a pipe maker. We're affecting a ceramics workshop and a pipe maker. This is also... That's this is built in a weird place down. as well. Yeah, I mean, this place definitely needs to be redone, for sure. It's too messy. 
let's just get our production rates correct and then I might do a correction myself. So, Lantern Smith. And let's move those two other ones over. I suppose an item that affects like the Chandler might be good as well. find a way to move these closer so they can actually have road access but also not be encroaching on the thing so the trade union doesn't need road access this does though See if that works. <laughs> All right, our little ship is here. Just dump those things. Head back to Swords. I'll see you soon. And then we can go Angela Mega Ivor. All production negative twenty percent for workforce. So that gains us back about a hundred. She's okay. she's kind of temporary though. And then we have the Cutting Edge. Productivity forty percent. Workforce negative fifty. So that's gonna help those guys quite a bit. And we remove those ones. Yep. Okay. Good. So now, with that amount in place, what was the other thing we're making? It provides productivity as well, doesn't it? So we might have to wait until we can check that one. Holy crap, the fire here. Incident still in the vicinity. Oh yeah, they're still on fire. Okay. Alright, we'll head back to Swords. This is almost done. Just to double check what it actually does, because I've forgotten. Productivity, 40%. Chance of fire, negative 30. Alright, we'll have to wait for our ship to arrive, but I can just actually bump the number up to 40 anyway, just to see what the statistics bear out for us. So let's just do that. It's working. I think we had it. Good. Alright, so these are the numbers now that we'd be otherwise getting. Ah, I did not give them a road. Just for now. Just leave it like that, it's fine. Um, so what are you missing? Candles. Ornate candles. Yeah, but this should get us the amount that we need, so... That's nine, so it's actually actually one more than we even need. Seven over six globally, so that's good. And then maybe we've got room for the Chandler as well, and then we can see how much beeswax we need. So let's pop them in. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Chandler? Chandler? Candle maker? I assume we'll need at least three. All right. Six under seven. So yeah, maybe with, instead of this lady, something that affects these would give me the productivity I need um, to basically get it up to the same level as these. So that would work together. Steam ahead. You've left the old thing a ruddy jumble. All right, let's just pick up this item again. All right, that's the last item. Actually, it would be just while we're here. Why not check to see is there anything that affects ornate candles? Uh, what about the building itself, Chandler? Don't know why it pops up twice. We'll just click the other one just in case. No. Okay. At least not that I have right now, but we could check it really quickly. All right. So let's go back down to Embase it. Deliver this last item in. While we're doing that, we'll just open up the item screen and have a little search for the Chandler. All islands just to see what we have already. So this is everything that would affect it. I'm just going to pop in ornate candles first, though. Is there anything that just provides? What are you? You affect the lantern smith. New input. Instead of candles, he processes light bulbs. Well, aren't you an interesting cat? Very interesting. And he's breaking from the teachings of Caduce. Interesting. I think we make enough land. Um, what's it called? Uh, light bulbs to do that. I think I have too many. Oh, no, I don't. I'm right on the edge. I'll forget it then. <laughs> I, had a, I thought for sure I overproduced, but I think I probably did at one point, and now we're right on the edge after building up a bit. Good to know. 
That would have been a tempting one, though. Just removing... Because you remove candles. Oh, uh, you need more glass, though. Glasses, I'm, I'm pretty low on glass, so I just don't want to be going down that route. But it is interesting. You get rid of the need for beeswax and candles and all the workforce that goes with it. It's an interesting also. item, for sure. Alright. So then, we'll just have a look then to see... The building itself. So as a third item that could be placed in here, anything that would affect it specifically would be nice. But it doesn't have to. What can I say? I'm the giving type. Uh, nothing here, but we do need a boost in productivity then. So we'll need something like the fortunate, I think. 35% boost. So I might mark that down. Is there one in the trading post as well as here? That's what it looks like to me. If that's the case, that'd be great. But no, I don't think so, right? Yeah. But we could just um, apply that 35% anyway. And then when we get the item, then it'll be fine. Okay, so. The Oriel's Automatic Blowing Machine. Glassmaker's Light Bulb Factory, etc. 40%. So now, we'll knock this off. We'll increase... Was it this one? Yep. Fortunate does 35, so we can have a look at what that would look like, and then... Alright, so yeah, we'll, we'll be producing enough. Then the next question, the last question, I suppose, would be beeswax. How much do you need now, knowing? So you need 9 tons per minute, we currently produce 4, and it's full, I would imagine. Yeah, we have the potential to add tractors, but we also have plenty of land just to add a few more in anyway. And we have the workers to do so too. All right, well, unfortunately, I'll have to kind of leave it there for this episode. But in the next one, we'll just get straight to popping down the bees, setting up some trade routes, moving these things around, delivering the beeswax. Just want to see what else do they need? They need cotton. Yeah, we've already got cotton delivered here, and globally we make enough. Unless with these extra buildings, it's just gone under, which could be the case. Yeah, we're slightly under again. That seems to always happen. Cotton is a... the demand for that is just so crazy. But we can always squeeze a little bit extra out in the new world, I think. Uh, so we'll have to do that. But that should be then a particular sort of ruler. lantern sorted, and that'll just have to be delivered to the new world. So yeah, I don't know I don't know why it took me so long, but beers and lanterns, man, this took a lot longer than I expected. But these guys, at least, if you want to check it, they have their beer now. So it is. it feels like slow progress, but it is one category done. Souvenirs are in place. The billiard table is a little low. Must have been right on the edge of not getting here in time. Although the production of that is only slowly starting to ramp up. That could be why. Yeah, there's 2,000 in uh, Swords, but there's 13 in Lusk where we're pulling from. And both islands are kind of pulling from them equally, so... It'll just be a matter of time before one of them fills up. I have no doubt, I think, that Billiard Tables is overproduced, as long as it just keeps getting made. Yep, we make three, and we consume three, but we make, like, I guess, three and a half or something. All these things are pretty good. Felt is now filling up radically, which is good to see. All right, yep, that's going to have to be it for this episode. All things considered, still making progress. Just can feel a little slow at times, but things are looking good. Numbers are relatively stable. Investors are creeping up. What where are you like missing? In one's Regional mail. Ugh. Don't even talk to me about mail. <laughs> All right, that's got to be it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.